What's up recruits, Captain Ash is here and welcome to the campaign. For this week's campaign we're going to be playing Heroes of the Storm, uh, mostly because Tracer has released in Heroes of the Storm and I'm super excited for Overwatch and that will be coming out possibly this week or next week. It depends on how much time I can actually get in for recording and editing, but I do have access to the early open beta and then the open beta weekend will also be this week, so be sure to play Overwatch if you have it pre-ordered. In the meantime, though, we're going to enjoy ourselves some Tracer in Heroes of the Storm. I've played with her a little bit. She's pretty different from pretty much any hero in here. Uh, going to start off with some AI, actually. Versus AI. AI teammates. We'll do that for this first one. That'll be fine. We're going to go ahead and put them on Adept. Good enough. So she is very different from most heroes in this game, simply because she can attack while moving. She's also incredibly squishy, so she's good at killing people on the run. Uh, a couple of her abil abilities are very, very clutch and very good. She's got a very high skill cap, um, but a high skill floor as well, in my opinion. This this hero was by far the hardest to get used to and to get good with. And part of that is largely because her best ability, she doesn't get a talent to really make it her best ability until level 20. Uh, so we have Pulse Strike, increased melee pulse bombs charge from 10% to 15, that's just a melee attack which honestly I almost never ever use, but it'll increase your pulse bomb, uh, which she is one of the only heroes that starts off with her ultimate ability, you just have to charge it up. Slipstream reduces recall's cooldown by 4 seconds and increases the amount of time recalled by 1 second, so recall, 24 second cooldown, you will pop back to wherever you were 3 seconds ago. And at level 20, our ultimate talent will also make it restore health. So it removes all debuffs, it reloads your weapon, and it'll actually restore your health, which is what makes it so powerful. I, uh, until then, though, it's good, but it's not like... I don't know. It, it's good, I just need to get used to using it more. And Tracer Rounds. Your basic attack reveals enemies for four seconds. That one's okay, it's not quite so good, but it's also not terrible. So we're gonna start in on Kael'thas here. Ow, this is really hurting a lot. Okay, I'm gonna die, so... Gonna go grab the well here. Like I was saying, Tracer is extremely squishy. There are certain heroes that are just gonna knock her down. So, you can start off by... Uh, let's see, what is that? Attack move? I forget what it is, but basically you'll attack anything that's close enough while you're moving. And you'll notice she's got a, a cursor around the target that she has. So it's kind of like targeting in WoW. She's got almost like a tab target aspect to her. Um, and that is how you determine who you're going to attack. In the meantime, she will just not attack anyone else, but if she's close enough, she will be shooting at them, which is how we're going to get the kill here on Kael'thas. Nope, had to recall. Couldn't chase him down, but that's alright. So basically, what you want to do is you want to keep moving as Tracer as much as possible. That will allow you to do really, really good poking and just kind of annoy the, the enemy until you can go in for a kill. In the meantime, melee if you're close enough, and we do have our bomb up now. The bomb is interesting. Fires a short-range bomb that attaches to the enemy unit if it hits them. The bomb explodes after 1.5 seconds for X amount of damage uh, and damage to nearby enemies. This ability slowly charges over time and also by the damage done. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what's going on here. We have attached it to him, and we don't have any more melee, but we're going to get the kill right here. Good. And I didn't need to restore. I did because I'm so used to end tier where you actually restore health. So in the meantime, we have Parting Gift, where when you recall, you will drop three bombs that heal damage. Is that a health pack increases the amount of healed from health packs, and untouchable. Basic attack damage increased by 2%, up to 30. These bonuses are lost on death. Damn. So it looks like we did not get that tower. Oh. So I usually go with the uh, ramp up bonus damage. Because on a takedown, eventually you can get up to 30% and that becomes significant. And when you're good with Tracer, you won't be dying very often. There are certain heroes that will just counter the crap out of her and there's nothing you can really do about that. But Tracer at a high, high skill level is a really, really scary thing. She's incredibly good. We got Raynar here. Can we? Nope, we got 44 seconds left on that. 
So we're gonna start in on Raynor. We're actually gonna drop the bomb on him. Shit, okay. Gotta get out of there. Wasn't enough to get through his heal. That's okay. She also gets several other talents later on that will increase her overall DPS quite a bit and makes her a force to be reckoned with. Again, she's extremely squishy, so she can dive, but you have to really be careful with it. And the hardest part about her ultimate is just what a short range it actually has. I can't show you right now, but it's an incredibly short range. Just gonna kind of whittle on Raynor here. Leave me alone, buddy. Get rid of some of these units. Ow. You dick. Just gonna grab this a little early. Alter spawning in 15 seconds. I should probably be paying attention to that. Raynor's already down there. We're gonna see if we can get in close. Oh, there's Malfuron and Murky. Screw all of this. That's just not gonna happen. Come on, guys. Alright. Uh, I'll have to go over that in a sec. Let's hop down and help out here. We're gonna work on Murky, because we can actually make a difference with him. There we go. We're back there. We're gonna work on Raynor. Nope, nope, nope. Not gonna be able to make that. Now with Meowfurion here. I think he said Meowfurion. We can drop a bomb on him, though, which we might try. I don't know if I want to dive it. Did we end up getting that tower? I don't know if we did. Come on, Falstad. Come on, we gotta try something here, man. Uh oh, we've actually gotten two levels. I'm gonna go ahead and just pull back and catch up on those. So, for the talent, we have Jumper increases Blink charges by one. Oh, I forgot to mention our most important thing. Blink! Stores three charges, six second cooldown, and that's how you see her blinking around like that. Which is super key to getting in, getting out, and staying alive. Basic attack lowers the cooldown of Blink by 0.1 second, or Spatial Echo. Using Recall grants two charges of Blink, and that is the one I go with every time. Because it means you can get in, you can get out, and then you can continue to get out. Alright, we've got a kill on Murky there, though he probably had his egg up. Man, why are there three of them down here? I might have to change lanes. Because this is just silliness. Alright, let's start in on Raynor. Actually, let's just get the kill on Raynor. Nope, nope, nope. Fucked up my bomb. There we go. Let's go Kael'thas. Not gonna get that kill. Definitely not gonna get that. That hurt a lot. Alright, Murky. Murky's down. Again, though, I'm pretty sure he had his egg up. I'm just gonna hide down here and take the tower once it comes up. There we go, give me the tower. The altars belong to those who claim them. Go, 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 go. Okay. Man, they fired more on us again. Still got X amount of time on the well. I find that I have to hearth a lot with Tracer. She's just so damn squishy, and I'm actually gonna try my luck at mid here. Let's see, we have Sticky Bomb. Uh, increases Pulse Bomb's radius by 50% and enemies hit are slowed. Pulse Bomb deals an additional 10% damage, 10% of the primary target's maximum health and damage. And Pulse Rounds increases Pulse Bomb's range and charge rate from basic attacks against heroes by 150%. And that's usually what I go with, because you can get your bombs up so much faster that way, which is nice. Because the bomb is good, it just doesn't feel like ultimate good, like a lot of ultimates in here are super super strong. Hers is good, but it's something that needs to be used more uh, more often and less as like a giant I'm just gonna kill everybody type thing. There's Murky's egg, excellent. Ow, get off me. Get off me, leave me alone. Leave me alone, you little bastards. Thank you for the heals, and now we're gonna kill Murky, yay! Let's get this tower down. So we did. Oh, actually gonna go to the altar. 
Alright. Actually gonna help with Raynor here. There we go. He's grabbing that good. Let's go over and help this tower. Go! Do not let the altars fall into the Raven Lord's talents. The Raven Lord will not keep me from this realm. Gonna reverse out. Got the bomb on her. Going for the kill as much as I can. Yes. Kalefoss, you're next, buddy. Get out of here. Hooray! So yeah, if you're able to use all of her abilities in tandem properly, she's very, very strong and very good at killing heroes in most cases. Gonna work on Murky here. The one thing I have trouble with is she won't auto-attack off the mount, so I actually have to put her off the mount, which I'm not entirely used to yet. Please move, please move! Ah, damn it. So the other issue, and I'm just bad at click to move games, I don't like them very much, this is pretty much the only one I like, uh, is I normally just hold down right click to move Tracer around, because that's the most fluid way of doing it, but then if you accidentally right click on an enemy, you're just going to stand there and attack them. Whereas if you do the move click, you will actually move to that place while attacking with Tracer, which is really cool. So next, our talent's Bullet Spray. Increased melee's radius by 50% and causes it to damage all enemies in range. Ricochet, your basic attacks have a 50% chance to hit another nearby enemy, prioritizing heroes, and leeching rounds, your basic attacks heal you. So I usually go with Ricochet, simply because I believe that actually increases our bomb regen. Haven't actually confirmed it, so I don't know if it's true, but it feels like it does. And regardless, it makes Tracer do a ton of damage, because now she's doing an actual, like, cleave. And the range that it'll ricochet to is decently large. Alright, we got altars in 27 seconds. I'm gonna head down here and see what's going on on bottom. You can also press G to reload her weapons at any time. Later, Kael'thas. And reloading her guns um, just gives you more ammo. That's pretty much it. She's one of the only heroes that doesn't use mana. Uh, instead, she has her reload, which is based on ammo, and it's pretty cool. I like it. Guess we're going up here now. There's Kael'thas. Is he the only one up there? Oh, we should beat up this guy. Guys, come help me beat up this guy. Okay, why did we all switch off the tower for, like, regular minions? Don't do that. Guys, let's go beat up this guy. Come on. Anybody want to help me with this? Anybody at all? No one's, no one's gonna help me with this. Come on, guys. Okay. The unavoidable skulls are annoying. Thanks for the heals, Malfurion. Alright, uh, reduces reload time by 50%. This equals 20% more DPS, which is awesome. Focus fire. If you unload an entire clip on someone, it will do an extra burst at the end, which is equal to 30% of the entire clip. And the last one locked and loaded. If you reload manually in the last 50% of a reload, that bar that shows up, it will increase your damage by 35% for the next magazine, which is pretty cool, but overall, in an actual firefight, it's too much to worry about in most cases. Maybe you want some better with Tracer, uh, but the general consensus is to just go with increased or decreased reload speed. There we go. That's the kill I was looking for. So where am I going to be most useful? Probably if I head up and just start doing my best to stop their champions. I do not want to be rooted, good sir. Got the kill on my Furion, get the kill on Raynor. 
There we go. I think that's pretty much all we can do right here for now. I'm gonna go see if I can push a tower then. Damn, they just destroyed that tower again. Those mean people. Both altars are up top, so I'm gonna head to the top one. Keep an eye out for Meow Furion up here. There he is. Hmm. Not really gonna be able to take both of them at the same time, especially when they both have heals. So, F all of that. Muradin, I don't think I'll be able to help you. Dropped the bomb, but that didn't do enough. How about some heals, Malfurion? Thank you, sir. Crap. And they're working on that tower. You know what? Forget that. Those guys are frustrating me. We are just going to stop them from taking out that tower. Alright, got Raynor off of it at least. Going to just work on annoying Johanna. That bomb did not stick. Damn. I just can't do anything with all the stuns and everything. Okay, total recall heals you. Get stuff, reduce the melee cooldown by three seconds, hitting an enemy with melee who is stuck on pulse bomb causes the bomb to explode instantly, blah blah blah. Uh, if you successfully stick a pulse bomb on an enemy hero, you also drop another one at their feet, dealing 50% damage and explode slightly earlier, or total recall. Recall also heals you equal to the amount of health you lost during the last four seconds. And that is amazing. So now anytime I recall, I'm gonna get all my health back. There we go. And this is where Tracer really, really, really starts to shine. Because you can do so all sorts of crazy dives, and you can actually be really, really threatening. And it's very fun. If you ever get in a bad spot, you just uh, recall out and you're good to go. Later, Malfurion. Good. How are we doing up here? Okay, he's unstoppable. It's fine. Falstad's fine. Good. Good. Oh, let's chase, chase down Johanna. Yay! So Tracer's very good at getting around the map quick. Taking out low enemies especially, she's very good at just dive bombing people when they're low. Going in, getting the drop on them. Murky, you son of a bitch. Don't you dare. Okay, let's head back down. I haven't really tested her on mercenary camps too much. If there's any sort of a... Uh, a melee opponent, she can usually just outrange them and shoot them while she's doing it, which is great. If there's a ranged opponent, it goes based on how much damage she can take, which is not a lot. Okay, where is everybody? They're back up here. Those bastards. Oh, you do not want to do that. Damn it. Uh, okay, we're gonna... We're gonna go in and kill Malfurion. Ah, you bastard. Bomb didn't stick on anyone, which is tragic. Can't attack that right now. Ah! Damn it. So I'm still getting used to using the bomb. It definitely takes a while to get used to, because what it does is it will land exactly where you tell it to. Get the ricochets, very nice. Get the kill on Kalefast, get the kill on Johanna. Oh, 
Ah, oh, you bastard. Later, Rainer. Well done. Uh, I don't think I could dive that. That's all right. All right, so if we hold this down, this shows you exactly where it's going to go. It stops right there, and it just is very difficult to actually land on people. I, I, I want to just throw it out and do a general area, but you need to land it right on the hero. Anyways, we won that match, so yeah, this has been our look well at uh, Tracer in Heroes of the Storm. I'm really liking her. I'm going to continue playing her for the rest of this week because Heroes of the Storm is the campaign, and I might switch out. I might try a, a different hero or something, but for the most part, it's going to be Tracer to celebrate Overwatch coming out, which I'm super excited about. All right, guys, if you enjoyed this video, please let me know by leaving a like. Also, let me know down in the comments what you think of this game and Tracer as a hero in Heroes of the Storm. I assume there will be more from Overwatch in the future, and I can only imagine they're going to be vastly different from the other heroes as we've seen so far. Thank you guys so much. It's been great playing with you. This is Captain Ashes, signing off.